Careful using constants on JavaScript. You may have been told to use the keyword const instead of let to define variables that cannot be changed, but is that true? Not really. The const keyword is used to define variables that their values cannot be reassigned, but doesn't mean they are immutable. When the value is a primitive, such as numbers, strings, booleans, that statement is true. You won't be able to change the variable value. The reason for that is that all primitive types of data are immutable. We need to be careful, though, when we work with complex data such as objects or arrays. While you won't be able to reassign a new object to the variable, you will be able to assign new values to its properties. Let me give you an example. We can define a constant name person containing an object with the property name equal to Daniel. We can just mutate the property name to David and nothing will complain. Does that mean that we cannot ensure an object property will never be changed? We still have an ace up our sleeve. If we want to ensure the value cannot be changed, we can use object.freeze. Now, when we try to mutate an object property, the object remains the same. With this method, we will ensure an object property cannot be modified. Remember though, the freeze only affects the object first level. In case you have the several nested objects, you will need to apply object.freeze at every level. That's great, isn't it? We will still have a little problem you may have noticed. When we try to reassign a value to a constant, we get an error, but we don't get it when we use object.freeze and it fails silently. We can solve this issue by using JavaScript in a strict mode. There you go, now we get an error if we try to mutate a frozen object. We are able now to ensure the immutability of an object with the same behavior as a primitive, but it is a bit annoying having to use object.freeze at every level and it would be easy to forget doing it in some of the objects. Let's come up with a solution for that. We can create a deep freeze function that will ensure that the object itself and the nested ones are frozen. To do so, we first retrieve the property names defined on the object, we iterate over its properties and call the function itself on the nested objects if there are any. Remember, an array and a function are also types of objects. After doing that, we call object.freeze on the object the function was called with, because the function is called for every nested object, those will be frozen too. As you can see, we have achieved the same result, but now with less overhead and with a code less prone to errors. As a final warning, be mindful though that with this approach you could end up with an endless loop if the object references to each other in a circular dependency. So be cautious using it.